Hi Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, if you are currently dating someone, we are going to find out the most likely outcome of this connection. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. And today is the 7th of May 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 11.33 a.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. If you were to finally guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign. All right, now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. The current person they're dating right now, what's the most likely outcome between the two of them? Still a little bit sick. Not a cups at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Got the six of cups in my first justice and the queen of wands. This okay. Hmm. We've got the knight of wands in my first, ace of wands in my first, and the strength in my first. This is your energy. All of this is fire. Leo Aries Sagittarius. You know what I'm seeing here? You. You're going to lose interest in this person, the person you're currently dating with, like you've already met, you've already um, hung out with each other or even intimate with each other. Because Six of Cups feels like you, you have some sort of history with this person, okay? You're going to lose interest in this person, yeah. You're going to realize with the sun here that you actually are not that into this person anymore. I see you just losing interest. You're like, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm laughing because it's like, what? I mean, it's a SHIT prediction, but, but it's you. But you're the one. You're the one who's going to lose interest in them. And it's not the other way around. Because it feels like with the Nana Cups, this person is going to, love you or fall in love with you and is interested in you with the queen of wands here but you're gonna lose interest in this person and we've got the world right here you're gonna close out this chapter with this person and then you're gonna start a new chapter and the sun here you're gonna realize you're gonna see things very clearly that you this 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 person is not for you and i don't see you like returning to this person either the justice here you, you see so it feels very firm to me this person may want um a commitment from you may want to marry you um very interested in you but you're gonna lose interest in this person and for some of you you may lose interest in this person maybe because they have somebody else or that they are married, okay? This this part is very, very specific, and it's just for some of you, okay? But generally, it just see it just looks like, you know, Ace of Wands in my verse. It may have started looking like, okay, could, there could be something there, but then it just wouldn't take off. And that of Wands in my verse, you just, you're just going to stop feeling anything for this person or taking any actions towards this person. Strength in my verse, yeah. Yep, not gonna put in any effort in this person. Let's see. Yeah. This person is gonna fall in love with you though. Um and will want to commit to you or want a commitment out of you. And two cups in reverse as a separation and five of pentacles. Hmm. Another card that indicates a separation. Four cups. You're going to feel like dissatisfied about this this person in some way, shape, or form. The high priestess in reverse also can indicate maybe there will be some information being revealed in regards to this person that you could be currently dating that you're not going to be too happy about. And um, we've also got the four swords here. You are going to 
you're gonna take a break from this person. You're gonna think. You're gonna really think and analyze the situation. Analyze whether you really truly want to be with this person. If you really want to continue dating this person, got the nine of wands here. This person may say something or does something that's gonna kind of hurt you a little. You're gonna feel like this person doesn't understand you, or wasn't on your side, or wasn't there for you, or both of you just don't get along. Two cups here in my first. Don't get along. Don't see eye to eye. Hmm. <laughs> this is sorry that I'm laughing, but. I don't, I, I honestly, whoever you're dating right now, I see you just gonna make a very firm decision like, I, I can do better than this. And you definitely can do better than this with the sun here, right? Sun, the sun indicates a new beginning, but also a better new beginning. So some of you, you could, you're dating this person, but then you're gonna feel like you can do better than this person. Yeah. Because four cups, you're going to be kind of like dissatisfied with them or you're going to grow bored of this person. Because when the ones are in reverse, it can indicate also lack of passion, lack of desire. And four cups is like a very boring energy. You're going to grow bored of this person. You're not going to feel like driven to want to take this connection to the next level. But this person is into you though, with the Knight of Cups. Some of you could be in the same gender relationship, not all of you. And I don't know, I'm getting another uh, version, another scenario here. Some of you, like, you're gonna feel like this person is insensitive towards your needs um like this person is not caring enough or there is something like a need that's not being met okay five of pentacles see the nine of cups it can be a romantic energy like knight in shining armor but there is no substance to to that, okay? That romance, I think it's just going to fade. It's going to fade. You, I keep seeing you losing interest. You're going to think about it like, I don't think we both will get along. And I don't think this is going to work out. I think this person is going to end up abandoning me or this person doesn't have money or there's something lacking. Yeah? Five Pentacles is like a lacking card. Um, it could be in whatever way, shape or form. It could be money, attention, uh, time or care, lack of care, lack of mm, commitment. There is something lacking in this connection. That's just going to make you turn your head the other way. When the Queen of Wands here, you're going to look the other way. You're going to be like, nah, I can do better than this. I see you're going to think that you, you, that you can do better than this person. And you're going to make a very firm decision to reject this person. You're going to lose interest and you're going to close out this chapter with this person. And you're going to move on. Page of Wands here in reverse also. It feels like you're not going to continue talking to this person and with this son here you just you're gonna see very clearly for what it is and you're gonna move forward you're gonna move on you're gonna move forward and there could be someone better coming in for you for you to date because the sun here again it's like something new something positive is coming your way it's okay next right leo avery sag <laughs> This is your reading. Hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to my other channel. It's my travel vlog channel. 
Um, I'm going to leave it on the screen right now. You can just click on it. It takes you straight to my second channel. For those of you who like to be notified every time when I post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. But make sure that you customize it accordingly because I post very often, a few times a day. So I don't want to annoy anybody with all the notifications. I believe you can uh, mute it. You can mute it or you can uh, customize it. I think there's a few options. Uh, I haven't actually tried it, but that was what I heard. But anyway, um, take care, Leo, Aries, Sash. I hope to see you back here again sooner than later. Bye.